and big toms really can cover the country. And once you you find a big tom, I hunt them up to five, six days before I catch them sometimes after I find the track and you find each little clue, keep at it the next day, you know, where is he, you know, where do you think he's at? Find another little clue and you just keep at it and keep at it and pretty soon you got him caught and once he's caught, that was kind of the game and the, and the sport to me. Killing is the last thing on my mind really. I mean, I'll never kill another lion again, I'm sure personally. You know, I have been responsible of quite a few dying, but I personally won't ever kill another lion again. I'm Bradley Dammerman. I'm the owner operator of Idaho Whitetail Guides. I'm an avid houndsman, outdoorsman. I'm a husband and a father. Been uh, hunting with hounds for 30 years. It's definitely my passion. Cat hunting, it's a tremendous amount of uh, hard work, dedication. I mean, you gotta be willing to, to get up really early and hunt, you know, all day. You know, a lot of times it's after dark when I get home. Tremendous amount of gear. I mean, snowmobiles, four-wheelers, pickups, uh, tracking equipment. You gotta be willing to um, be away from your family too a lot, you know. I mean, I hunt with hounds for probably you know, anywhere from 120 to 150 days a year, you know, and a lot of times, you know, that's a lot of time away from your family, you know. I do take my family as much as I can, but, um, you know, so you got to be willing to sacrifice that a little bit. That is Mallory. She is a scarred up bear dog, is what she is. She lost her tail by a bear. Oh, really? <laughs> got, bear. Yeah. And I'm not kidding. I've got, like, I think, and my wife will tell you. <laughs> All right. But I got uh, $10,000 in vet bills in her. Wow. wow. She is no But fear. she's worth it. Yeah. But just from getting caught by bear, and she'll fight a bear. You know? Mallory, she's five now, right? I think she's Got closer five. to six. Yeah. Right now. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Here, babe. Up here. You see that dog's face? It's really cute. You wouldn't think it'd be such a fierce dog, you know, and, not, and fearless. These cats and bears and stuff. But it's pretty awesome. You, some people probably picture a, a, a hunting dog to be this big, mean, gnarly dog. But that, that's a pretty dainty little dog with a sweet face. Cats are the ultimate predator, I mean, as far as hunting goes. They don't go hungry very often. They probably kill at least every seven to ten days, I would say. I have tracked toms that I knew hadn't ate for four or five days, you know, because they're traveling. But for the most part, if they're in a lot of deer and they're where the deer are, and they kill a lot more deer than they do elk. I mean, I have, I have noticed that, although they will kill elk as well especially a big tom will kill an elk. But I've seen just earlier this winter, I'd treat a tom, you know, and a week that I was hunting him, I found three of his kills. There was a lot of deer around. He would kill a deer and he was eating on it. And then he'd sit there for a week probably, and then he'd go out, kill another one, you know, right there within probably a mile from where he killed the other one or something. You know. So one of my buddies were out, was nice enough to be out looking for us for a lion this morning, and he uh, found one. So <laughs> says it's got a little frost in it and so it's probably a couple days old, but he says it's a nice one, so we'll go hunt for him. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully, yeah. uh, hopefully we can find it. If not, we'll keep looking. We have faith. It'll happen. So we changed spots. Um, our buddy Tim up here spotted a big old lion track this morning, and we got pretty excited, got over here. But there's one, one thing to consider. Back here at the parking spot, there's a little bit of blood in the snow, so we're hoping somebody else didn't run it and shoot the thing, uh, maybe on a different road or something. But we're gonna check it out. You never know, it still might be a viable track, so. The only track that anybody looked at in one snowmobile had been down and back. And they didn't, they, and it walked right down the middle of the road. And they got, you know, you couldn't miss it, so right. I just thought it was a snowmobile or you looked mm -hmm. at it and then on yeah. out. Yeah. Never, I mean, there's no dogs, no nothing yeah. there. 44 inches. Well, yeah, probably from there. 
the back of it. Which is a big lion. Big lion. One Dirk would like to put an arrow through, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll see if he's still alive though. There is blood back there. <laughs> I don't like that. There's a few different ways to tell if they're toms. Um, I usually look for these big round toes. And uh, a female, a female's toes are usually a little skinnier. So I can usually tell by looking at their toes, but I always carry a tape and from, so you want to measure the same place or from like the front of the foot and go back three, three uh, tracks and measure to the front. As long as you're same, or you could go heel to heel, whatever. And a female will never measure over 36 inches. So if it measures over 36 inches, you know you got a tom. Another way to tell if you got if you have a lion in a tree, it'll have a black spot under its tail. And that's another way you can tell if it's a tom. If it has that black spot under the tail, you can't miss it. You're good to go. You can shoot it. But I like to let the females live because I like to hunt them. Kinda like oh, them maybe we can find him, hopefully. Yeah. Well, let's just keep trying. Okay, so one of my buddies was nice enough to be looking for a lion and he found one. Problem was uh, we got uh, beat, so somebody killed it, I'd say two days ago, three days ago. I don't know for sure who it was, but they got a nice one, I know that. And sometimes we're the ones that get them. The other people are like, dang it, but not this time. <laughs> So we're back to square one where we started this morning. Uh, we saw a pretty nice bobcat track up here, so we're gonna go back up and see if we can catch up to that bobcat. We might even find another lion track up here. There's some deer and elk up high, so we'll maybe have have some luck finding them up there. If not, we'll have a nice snowmobile ride. fresher uh, lion track than we've seen so far so um, maybe we're getting closer to the right spot if we get up here maybe there'll be a, a kill or something and it'll be close hope so hounds are part of our family I mean I couldn't imagine my life without my dogs I mean they mean so much to me um, I still remember when I lost my first hound at probably seven eight years old Just cried like a baby gypsy was her name well you think about your one of your favorite hunting partners, whoever that might be, your dad, your brother, sister, whoever it might be. And that's what my hounds are to me. I mean, I hunt with my dogs more than I do with people. They're just my hunting partner and friend, you know. Actually, hounds really saved my life. There was a period of time um, in my life that well, I was going down the wrong road. And, you know, I pretty much hit rock bottom. I mean, I really did. It was tough time and looking back the hounds are what really pulled me out of that I felt like I owed it to them to straighten up I felt like they needed me you know and um, so I mean I can't even put a price tag on that I mean they're just they're everything to me you know they're part of the family two or three Christmases ago I lost a, one of our old dogs uh, Rose on Christmas Day you know and me and the kids and Amy, my wife, we were all there in the garage with her with blankets and, and had heating blankets on her and we all sat there all morning into the afternoon, you know, holding her head up until she died right there on Christmas Day, you know. Not one of the kids, not Amy, we can almost completely forgot that it was Christmas. All we cared about was the dog, you know, at that time, so they mean a lot to our family. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that that might think, uh, you know, we're cruel to them or we don't take care of them or we just use them for tools or whatever it might be. 
it's just not true. It's just fake news, you know. I mean, it's just, I mean, I can't tell you how much I love them. So. It's definitely the freshest track we got, but I still think it's like two or three days old. So it's, yeah. it's got frost and stuff in it, but. I know what it's probably going to do, unfortunately. Go right down into the. Go right down and cross the highway and. No, see, has a kill. There's ravens up yeah. there. Let's go. We'll... We can go up and take that road down here to the right that dead ends. And then we'll be able to listen. We could listen to see where those. Yeah. We could take that trail off the hill. Mm -hmm. I cut it out about a month ago. Yeah. Yeah. You know I'm I went down it with my side by side during muzzleloader season. cat tracks today they're just old need some fresh snow and it might be, it'd be easier to find some fresher ones and uh, yeah it's fun though we got the uh, scenic the scenic tour in the on the snowmobiles so that was fun tomorrow we'll probably just kill a 200 pound Tom <laughs> for new world record not a big deal hello world wake me up to another good smile upon my face cause there's excitement in the chase this I know yeah I'm going for the ride and find myself I am alive and I saw still I run toward the wind and let the challenge draw me in cause I want more I think it's a bobcat, but it's so tough to try to blow the snow out of it, but um, I can't see it in our snowmobile track, so we might have missed it yesterday, but the dogs will let us know. <laughs> One thing for sure, we know the weatherman wrong. sucks, <laughs> but I actually like him right now. Yeah. He's wrong, but in a good way. <laughs> in a good way, yeah. 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 Usually they're the other direction. Yeah. It's going to snow, and it doesn't snow. <laughs> I know, it, and then that's a bummer. This should help, but, don't you think? Yeah, bit. so this will this will help quite a bit. This will tomorrow, you know, like so if it'll stick enough on this old rotten frozen snow and hold for today and the cats move tonight, that'll be good for us tomorrow for sure. Okay. That'll help us a lot. But we got a, a bobcat track here, I think. Um I can't tell if we missed it yesterday or if uh if uh it moved last night, but um one way to find out I'll just put the dogs on it. If they start barking, I'd say it was made sometime last night. Cool. So we'll uh, give her a shot. Tomorrow? Why don't we just catch one today? <laughs> well, that, hey, I'm game. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> Take the pressure off, trust me. <laughs> All right, Mallory. Let's we'll see. Oh, no, come here, babe. That is the Gatlin gun. He's a dandy. Even on three legs. So I'm a plot guy way back, which is the black dogs. Um, that's what my grandpa had. Uh, you know, that's the bloodline he had was plots, bear path plots. And so I'm kind of attached to plots, even though I got some other stuff. But uh, Gatlin got... Uh, Last summer he got hurt by a bear real bad and uh, they weren't able to save his leg so it was really heartbreaking to me. Uh, we tried everything we could. Uh, the university was gonna 
They thought they they would try it, try to save his leg for like twelve thousand bucks. And I was like, so I just made the decision to cut it off, and they weren't sure that they were going to be able to save it anyway. So he ended up losing it, and I thought I'd just keep him around the porch and let him just kind of, you know, hang out at the house and just be a house dog. But uh, then I started hunting him, and I think I've I've caught a lion this winter and a bobcat with him. So he's not done yet. He's gonna keep at it. Okay, so we got a uh, bobcat or a coyote right here, but it's got a quarter inch of uh, powdered snow in it, so I can't really see the the toes on it. So I'm gonna try to blow the uh, snow out of there so I can see. Perfect. So now you can see that it's got more of it in the face. Yeah. Now you can see that it's a coyote though. For sure. Now I can see the toes right here and how pointed they are. You know, the track kind of comes pointed where a cat's going to be more round, stubbier toes. We've been looking all morning for a fresh track and we found an old one. So. It's about a week old, but it's a one we're looking for. It measures 43, so I know he's a great big tom. Um, and we know the direction he was going a week ago. So we're gonna go beat the roads the way he went to death until we find him, if we find him. Hopefully he went over the hill and killed an elk and he's just been held up on an elk kill or something over there. So we'll, uh, we got something to go off of now. So we'll see what happens. It's been it's been fun. We've had a lot of seat time this morning. Um, Bradley's been running running roads, going light and fast, and uh, we've been hanging out here in the truck and telling stories and swapping lies. And it's been really fun. Been a good time. Had lots of laughs so so far. So so uh, a little different than yesterday, but it's been good. Um, so we're gonna go around, drive around the horn here, and meet him on the other side while he pounds these roads and see if he can pick that cat up. So if we can. I'm, I'm pretty pumped up. It's, uh, you know, it's tough conditions, but, you know, I always, I got faith. You always have to have faith it's going to happen, so, um, and if it don't, it's, it's still been fun, but I think we'll get him. We'll, we'll catch him. Or another one. You never know. Off I go. I'll see you on the other side. Okay. We just got some encouraging news that uh, one of our buddies that are out looking for lion track just found a track made in our skiff of snow from last night. So it's late in the day, 1.30, so it'll still be iffy, but that's, that's the best news we've had all week. It says it's a tom and he's pretty sure the dogs will take it. So if the dogs can take it, it's in trouble, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> We got fooled. Thought it was a cat track at a glance, but it's just a moose track, so the hunt continues. This is Emerald. She is, uh, I think, let's see, three years old. She's been on Tons and tons of bear and quite a few cats. Bot dog, yeah. Tika, this is Mallory's daughter. She is two. So she's, this one's got some mattis in her. And is that a little bit of walker in her. And that's it, Steve Mathis. He hunted leopards and leopards and stuff with him. He's he's long gone now, but um, they wrote a book on him. But I got him from a buddy of mine, and they make they're known for their cold noses. 
like how good their noses are and they, they hunted lions but they make really good bear dogs as well he's probably been on 30 or 40 lions and this one is Mallory she's Mathis as well she is a uh, she's an old veteran she's only six but she's been on probably 500 bear and probably old 150 something like that maybe even more not lions and tons of bobcat she's definitely one of my best she's the whole package get in there i know this is tom this is one of my really good ones too and he is four i guess four and a half probably it seems like it's kind of crunch time uh tim found a cougar track over here and uh we want to get on that thing as quick as we can um, before any more snow melts. It's a little, it's pretty warm right now, so um, guys are saying, or Tim said he's seen um, some elk hair there and a bunch of coyote tracks, and he thinks there might even be a, a, a kill up there. A cat might be on a kill, so hopefully he hasn't left the area, so we might be able to just get right on him. Uh, time will tell, I guess. We'll we'll see here in just a few. Good girl. Look, look, we got Bradley walking his dogs down. If we had good snow, it'd be, it'd just sell out of here. But we got all these bare spots where we're not getting any snow and tough conditions, but hopefully we can get them lined out and get down here where the snow's at. And that's good. Barks are good. Come on, baby, come on. Did you hear that bark? I did hear that bark, yeah. <laughs> He's been making fun of me all day because I can't hear anything. That's because you're usually talking. <laughs> That's very true. It could maybe. So Bradley's down off over in the rhubarb down there. Um, dogs keep striking, but uh, he said it's pretty dry ground down there in a lot of spots down by the creek. So um, it sounded like the cougar kind of doubled back on its own trail and they're still kind of sorting things out. But man, we're run running out of time, we're running out of daylight. And uh, I'd imagine here pretty soon he's gonna probably have to pull them and, We'll come back tomorrow or just man if we could get some snow tonight if we could get an inch two inches would be great that way we could cover up all the old tracks and then when that thing comes up out of this canyon maybe he'll come up out and cross the road or something we'll see his tracks and, and be on him in the morning in fresh snow um, if we'd have, if we'd have known that this thing we were gonna run into this cougar over here this morning we could have been here first thing got on the track he might have got a treat but uh, with the track being fresher and plus earlier in the day, but we're just running out of time. So I'd be really surprised if, if it happens tonight. I mean, it, at this point, I, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna happen tonight, but maybe, maybe we'll get, be able to get back in here tomorrow if it snows, so hopefully. You think he's in here somewhere? Um, I tracked him all the way down to the creek and that took a while. And, and then I, no, I didn't have no snow. I just going off the dog. And we went right on down the like river like and then they they left there just a screaming pretty good but i got over there and they had a patch of snow for like 100 yards and they got out on me 100 yards they could smell it so much better in the snow like if yeah. the whole ground was covered i wouldn't even had to walk they yeah. would just put them loose and 
we would have had him. Uh, oh. I mean, you think he's in the yeah. area? Is the worst coming back here? I think so. I know a road over here. It, it the problem like is, is you know, in it, so I don't where know. he's headed, is there any snow on that road? I'll call Tim. I know he was on there this morning, and we'll see. Yeah. But he's a nice Tom. That ain't the same Tom that we found over there. Oh, really? He's a nice one. Yeah. What Tim said? I seen his track inches? quite a few times. Tim said 42 inches is what he measured. Yeah, it. that's big. Yeah. Anything 42, 43 is big. Tough, you know. I don't know what time it was when we turned loose. Like two o'clock. Two. I think it was like two fifteen. Two fifteen. Yeah, and I mean that's a a long time if it was made this time of night. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I suppose we should go get some supper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you burned one. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Uh, I was praying, but. Yeah, it probably just, the snow's harder, probably just didn't make, you know, as good as imprint. I don't know. I mean, if it's got the same measure and the same, I'm sure it's the same cat. It, it's gotta be. Yeah. Uh, which way is it going? Towards Bradley or the opposite way? Set it towards Bradley. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll let him know. He'll probably finish running that road out just in case it crossed, and then we'll head your way. Yes, these conditions, I would just, if we had a little, I mean. If the whole ground just had a half inch snow, it'd be. Well, he'd have been dead yesterday. Well, we got another track to try. Same thing, it'll be on bare ground, but uh, we know it was made sometime last night. So hopefully it was only made a few hours ago or three or four hours ago and they can trail it. But uh, it's hope, we'll see what happens. walk with them that won't hurt my feelings <laughs> they're 400 yards and still running I think it's uh it's looking good but we'll see until I see it I'm not gonna get too excited even though I'm shaking a little <laughs> they are they're where I lost the track yesterday which is still not very far from where I was I hope Gatlin don't have any troubles three-legged dog trying to swim that'll be fun Actually, where they're headed is into that pulled up road. Yep. Really? Oh man, I'm kind of worried about him. Keep going, buddy, keep going. I think he's across it. <laughs> that dog is amazing. I've never seen anything like it, ever. I think he got across. He's way behind, but he'll be there. He went down, crossed a creek, and. Uh... Now we had to drive all the way around and head over on the other side and we lost signal on the GPS, but we're pretty sure they're treed. Not not 100% sure, but we'll get up here and get signal and see what we have.
thing looks pissed. Right on, Dirk. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Man, great shot. Oh, I think he's done you. the first time, but I figured you never know. Yeah, yeah. that's a big. Oh, okay. He looks Damn. huge. Nice. Good job. Wow. That's awesome. I knew you had that big old ring for your head. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he's so pretty. Yeah. Just beautiful. Oh. Not many times we deer uh, and elk killing machine here. Yes, yeah, so you just think of the elk the bugler just saved. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> oh. oh man. He's Look pretty. at the feet on that thing. Oh. Look at those big old paws. Oh. oh. Scratch your back with those babies. Yeah. Ooh. Thank you so much, Tim. Yeah. Tim. Nice you, awesome. You, you were instrumental yeah. to it. It's awesome. I appreciate yeah. it. Loved every minute. Oh, somebody got free. That's all right. As long as there ain't no arrow sticking out anywhere. No, I pulled it. Okay. Right. You're okay. See, See that arrow right under your knee there. I don't know what. It's part just of, a shaft. It's, okay. See that right, right there? Good girl. That's what you look for the when they crease? when they start yeah. creasing. You you're in the big, kind of like a bear. You're in the big time. <laughs> Definitely with a bow. Yeah, I got those Look at the teeth. Hey. Oh. Dead. Yeah. yeah, he looks beautiful. He's a nice one. Big one, huh? Yeah. yeah. How old do you think a cat like this is, Bradley? Six or seven. Yep. You know, but he's got a big old noggin on him. He's a nice, I mean, that's as nice as you could ask for. Yeah. Man, thank you guys. I can't tell you how much. Uh, cougars, mountain lions, if, if you will, you know, they're kind of a mystery to a lot of people. You know, you yeah. just catch a fleeting glance of them across the road in the headlights, or sometimes people have them stock up on them when they're calling elk or something. But, yeah. but man, to, to be able to get up so close and see them in the tree and then, and then take him, I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I feel like, I feel like we did a good thing. I mean, it, it, it helps. You get too many of these guys, then they stay take, taking a toll on all the, the elk and deer. And if you're in livestock country and on livestock, you know. So it's, we did a good thing so, here. And a big tom like that, that he's killed some elk, I can guarantee you. Oh yeah, how bad. Huh? I thought hard about telling you not to come. You know, I was just like, I really want to get um, the bugler, <laughs> a, a cougar, you know. I think that'd be pretty cool, but. Uh, Man. I knew the conditions were going to be, I knew we'd fight it, you know, before you even got in your rig and headed this way, but uh, you kind of actually talked me into it, yeah. believe it or not, <laughs> so I'm glad you did. <laughs> well, I, I didn't want to sway you either way, yeah. but I wanted you to kind of know, you know, yeah. you, you take an educated guess, and I'm yeah. glad you did. Yeah. Uh, we could have probably done this in a few weeks and, yeah. and had a good outcome, but, yeah. but man, it just it's just credit to the dogs that in and, uh, and to the houndsmen you guys just you know what you're doing you know where to go keep after it and then let your dogs work and man they mm -hmm. did man it's awesome tagged out on a mountain lion
we're Idaho whitetail guides, but we actually do everything. We do lion hunts, we do bear hunts, elk hunts, mule deer hunts, whitetail hunts. We do everything, you know, we have to offer here in Idaho. So if you're looking for any kind of hunt that we have, we'd love to have you. You know, we got these cabins you see in the background. You can stay in, you know, we put the hunters up in and um, they're fully guided hunts. So you have a guide and most of my guides have been with me since day one, you know, for 10 years that we've been in business, they've been with me. So they're very familiar with the country and they're good hunters and stuff. So yeah, we'd love for you to check us out online and um, you can follow me on Instagram. We're on Facebook, uh, got a website and then also a few buddies. We've kind of started a little outdoor to the core YouTube channel. So some of our personal hunts that we've kind of slapped together and you can go check that out as well on YouTube. So anyways, I hope you look us up.